So what I want to show next is that we, we implemented this different movement system, which was the teleportation, the continuous movement, and also the walking place, which like you move your hand like this and you can move. But usually if you look at the VR application and games, when it comes to when it comes to movement, they always have different options because for example the continuous movement makes a lot of people sick in VR. So you want to give them different options that they can pick. Whether they want teleportation or they want the continuous movement or like even the walking place. That one that one is a bit less common, it's more like in VR research. You don't see it that often in the games actually. So now we want to basically make like an advanced VR, advanced XR rig that allows us to switch between these movements inside our application. So what I want to do is that actually I'm going to duplicate this scene and I'm going to rename. Yeah, I'm going to rename it to Advanced XR Origin Origin Demo And I want to change the name of this one to change it to Advanced XR origin. But first, before we do anything, I want to do some cleaning up because right now I attach everything to this nice object and it's a bit confusing if you want to find things later. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to drag this XR interactor manager under this object is here because it's actually related to this one and now what I want to do is that uh, we need to activate the, the locomotion as well for this one so here I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go to XR and I'm gonna select uh, locomotion system action base so it's going to create an object so this I'm going to bring it here this one is going to be our teleport teleport location system locomotion system and I'm going to make another uh, empty game object I'm going to name it uh, I'm going to name it continuous movement local motion system very long name so what I want to do is that I want to Copy this component from here and drop it here so I do paste component as value so it's all here and I want to disable this because we don't need it <clears throat> and I'm going to copy this one paste the component And I'm going to copy this as well, paste it here. Just make sure everything is attached. Okay, seems fine. The rest, I want to leave them here because for character controller driver, it should be here since it's attached to my character controller and I think this is it and what I want to do is that I want to make 
another one I'm gonna we'll call this walk in place local motion system I'm gonna attach the script I created so the character controller is here and the left hand and right hand would be this one and the right directing tracker. Well, I want to, we want to attach one more, one more component here, which is the snap turn provider. And what this does is basically is that it allows you when you press the joystick, it ma makes you rotate. So I'm gonna paste this one here. So now we separated these movements into three game objects. So I also need to set my ground as a teleportation area in case the user activates the teleportation. So I'm gonna set this to teleport area because I want the user to be able to teleport to all of it. If I want, if you want a specific position, you can set the teleport anchor, so it's only like certain position. And now, if you remember, we had, we set, we sort of created the, this visualizer before, which shows when the user points at the teleport area. So I'm going to set this to here. And I'm going to actually make it a bit smaller because it's too big. And the layer mask for this is default. So there's another change you, which we want to add. Before I said my ray should only interact with the UI uh, UI ray mask, but now I want to set it so it can also interact with the default, which is going to be the ground. But for now, I'm going to leave it as it is <clears throat> because we're going to change this through the code then the user selects which type of interaction they want to use. But I'm going to change the name to XRA Interactive because it's right from now on it's not going to be only for UI, it's going to be for teleportation also. <clears throat> so now we can create a script. Let's call it So I'm going to call it XR Movement Manager. And I want to attach it to my advanced XR origin. So I'm going to drag it here. So the first thing I want to do is that I want to access this three game object that I created for the, for the locomotion system. And I want to activate them based on what buttons the user presses. So here I'm going to do serialized field. Call it, let's call it game object. <clears throat> now we need to give them the name. So locomotion. Teleport Continuous Movement and Walk 
So now I need to attach this. So the teleport goes here, continuous movement to here, and walking place here. And now uh, I, I'm not going to use the void update, so I can remove that. But I'm going to use the void starts later because we do want to have a default input so if the user doesn't say anything which which one of these inputs should get activated so here I'm going to create a public void I'm going to call it activate continuous movement And let's, let's just make all of them. So I'm gonna, another one, public void, activate locomotion movement. And the last one is gonna be public void, activate walk in place movement. So here, what I want to do is I want to set the teleport that set active to false because we want to only activate the continuous movement. For continuous movement that set active, set it to true. And for walking place, we want to set it to false as well. And let's just copy this. So here the teleport should be true, continuous movement should be false, I'm going to copy this one as well and set the walking place to true. But this is actually is not enough to make everything work because as I said before, Here, for the ray interactor, I want to change the ray mask. When it's in the tele teleportation, teleportation um, when the user selects the teleportation movement, I want to select both the UI and the default. So we need to change it through the code. And when the user, let's say, is only in continuous movement or in walking place, this only should be set to UI. So I'm gonna go here. Let's make it two new variables. The type of it is gonna be layer mask. So one of them is gonna be UI layer mask. And the other one would be our default layer mask. So now we need to set this layer max value. And I do it through I usually do this through inspector because it's much easier than the code. You can you, all you have to do is basically select them. So UI and for default layer max I'm gonna select default. <clears throat> and we also want to access the since we want to change the value in the XR interactor, we want to access this um, class as well. So I'm going to create two more variables and the type is going to be XRA interactor but 
if I write it now, I cannot access it because I need to do what I did before, which is access the XR toolkit. So here, uh, now we can say XR Rain Tractor. So left hand controller rail and right hand controller rail. I'm gonna assign these as well. So the left would be this one and the right hand would be this one. Now here I can say that the left hand controller dot ray does the component in inside this script that I want to access to it was called rain mask. So that's what I want to access. I'm gonna call it rain mask is equals to I want to set this to UI layer mask. I want to do the same thing for the right hand. And I'm just gonna copy this for the locomotion. Instead of, uh, as we want to access both the UI layer and the default layer. So I can just do like plus default layer mask. So now it's basically both of them get selected. Here, plus default layer mask. And as for this one, I want to set it only to UI layer map. So now let me just check if it's everything is correct. is fine but now we need to set this uh, <clears throat> basically we created a bunch of like methods to activate the different movement system but we are not calling them anymore and what I want to do is uh, I want to assign them to the XR the Oculus controller so when the user press A, B or X it will switch between the, these three different movements so I'm going to use these, uh, the script I created before input capture. And here let's make like header, let's call it action. So we want to access our XR movement manager. So like here, all I have to do for, in order to assign it, I can just drag it to here. And now when the user presses, let's say when we press the A, I want to ac activate the continuous movement. So I access the script and I call the activate continuous movement method. And when the user presses B, I want to activate the teleport. And 
I'm going to change the name of it quickly. So, teleport. Okay. Teleport movement. And when we press X, I want to activate the walking flex. Actually, let's test this, see if, it's, see if everything is working or not. But one thing before I forgot to do. Inside here, I want to set my default input. I'm going to set this as continuous movement. So when the game starts, I want to be set as continuous movement. Now it's continuous movement. If I press D, we switch to teleport. So I can move. So now the continuous movement doesn't work anymore, but I can teleport to different areas. And if I press X, I activate the walking flex. So if I do this, I move forward. So I can like basically when I move my hand up and down, I will move. And this is very useful, so make sure if you're building VR application and it has a lot of movement, try to definitely implement this because you want to give user option to have to choose how they basically what's most comfortable for them. Because not everybody can handle the continuous movement. Okay. Let me just test one more thing as well. So when we are in the teleportation, we, I want to check whether I can interact with the UI as well. So I can, which is good. And if I go to if I go to continuous movement, I can also interact with the UI. Let's test the walking flex as well. So connected, yeah, it's working. Okay, so that was that was basically how we can make like we made like a system that can switch between all these movement systems. So what I want to show next 